Hey, this is uh, Steve for Network Solutions and the inaugural launch of Lunch with the Entrepreneur. And I'm um, here with, state your name for the record, sir. Gaurav Nanda. And uh, what business are you uh, running? Uh, my business assistant out of Frederick, Maryland. So we're here at JMP Pizza here in uh, Mount Airy, Maryland, which is a little famous pizza place. If you guys are out here, you should check it out. The, Yelp's on, the Yelp reviews are pretty awesome. So you'll hear a lot of clatter and everything. But uh, just uh, real quickly, um, could you uh, give us, give us, tell us about my business assistant, like what it does and what services you guys are offering? Right. What we do, Steve, is we provide small businesses a comprehensive support system. So instead of going to multiple service providers like accounting companies, web companies, uh, phone service providers and all that, small businesses come to us and then they have this on-demand support system that they can use to use all these basic business services on a subscription based on a month-to-month -month basis. So if you need like ABC service today, you take that tomorrow, you need ABD and you cancel C, you can do that without going to multiple providers. One invoice, one company. So this includes uh, like virtual PBX. Includes uh, it does include administrative services, phone services include PBX and 24/7 phone answering, accounting services, uh, website design, marketing, IT help desk, and online marketing. Okay. Uh, what about uh, like uh, the cost of the services? Is, is it a fixed price thing? Is uh, it a range? Each service or? has different costs. So and we are we are coming up with some packages which Great. we are launching uh, in a month or so. But as of now, uh, you know, if you need A and B services, it has different pricing, but mm -hmm. you choose how many hours you need, okay. and the more volume, um, you know, the, the, the volume is more, the price, the rate is less, like any other company, and um, so it's, it's, it's different pricing for each service. So, how did you, uh, how did you get started doing this, and actually, as we're talking, oh, that's a big pizza. Oh, yeah. You can put it on that. Steve's favorite pizza here. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of food. Thank you. So, we're going to chat for a few minutes while we get ready to eat here, but, uh, Back to business. So, how did you uh, how did you get started with my business? Well, what what motivated you to start? Uh, it? You know, uh, in fact, it started uh, you know for my wife. She wanted to do something from you know home, a little bit so small scale. Then I was doing research as to what she can do, and I saw there are so many different applications and services available for small businesses. And when I talk to small businesses, they don't know about those services. So I thought, why can't we be the company who can pull all the best services in the market and create a support system that they can use and I don't have to be best at everything I mean they the companies that we align make partnership with they provide the services so they know what they're doing we just aggregate all the services into one support system of course we provide part of the services I would say 40% of the services so you do so you have partnerships is anything that is uh, yours specifically or is it is it really a no, or is the, it really the, the, the layers of customer service uh, or yeah. things on top of that or just the management of the invoice yeah. what it, well, the value we, you guys the, provide the services that requires a lot of uh, interaction with the clients mm -hmm. and, 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 and confidentiality is a factor we provide that from our own resources to keep the um, you know the, to keep all the information in house and not share it with third party partners but uh, there are certain services like phone answering and um, you know virtual PBX IT services which we are partner with other companies but we take the responsibility of the quality of services we provide uh, we do the invoicing we provide the customer support it's just that the actual services provided by some other companies in certain cases. Okay, that's fantastic. So, if um, you know, when people are using these services, I mean, people are going virtual all the time. Do you find that your your target is definitely small businesses? Are you finding larger companies that are using this, or just people trying to streamline? Well, the larger companies have been using the BPO service. I mean, the BPO industry is a huge industry which mm -hmm. most of the Fortune 500 companies use. It's kind of a large scale virtual service, which is the BPO. We have you know scaled down to a virtual service, but yeah, I mean, I think the small and mid as companies are using more and more virtual services, but mm -hmm. you know the PPO industry still exists, and a lot of large companies are using it. How long have you guys been in business? About three and a half years. So, as a, uh, I read a series called Rules for Entrepreneurs. Is there any uh, rules or lessons you've learned that you would love to uh, impart on fellow entrepreneurs well, that are out there? I only follow one uh, one rule, and I would advise everybody to follow that. It is uh, do what you love and love what you do, and everything else will fall in place. So, excellent advice. And as we uh, kind of wrap wrap up, we have some beautiful food here at the JMP. I've got the shrimp uh, white pizza, and uh, what, do you, what, do you, what did you order? This, oh, this uh, is a southern chicken salad. Uh, just, uh, just so, because uh, Shashi loves to take pictures of food, so I think we'd uh, like to sign off, but I appreciate uh, your time, and uh, I guess we should get, get eaten, and 
we can enjoy it. We can have the rest of our day. Thank you so much, Steve. It was very nice talking to you. All right. To you. Thanks a lot.